So, EA dropped the 88 plus Encore player pick, but this time it's got Future Stars icons as well. Let's open a bunch of these and see what we get. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code HABER. I would happily take a Future Stars Wayne Rooney and I can sell my tradable one. Um, you know, obviously all the other good cards as well would be nice. Let's see what we get. First one of the day is going to be... It's not great, is it? I'll take Future Star Seydorf. I've already got a better version of Andersar. I've got the uh, birthday one. Uh, Seydorf's... Eh, it's not great, is it? It's, uh, it's a small L, that, unfortunately. Let's go up for some more. All right. Kieran's icon pick next. Oh, yeah. I forgot. There's Future Star's Dino, isn't there? Oh, mad. I totally forgot about that. There's some really good cards in these now. Well, there was before. Oh, as if he gets Zola and he already has him. Come on, EA. That's not fun. I don't... It, there should be something in this game where if you've packed an untradeable icon, you can't get him again in the player pick, in my opinion. All right, on to my second account now. EA, please, please, please. Let's get something good. All right. This is the third icon pick of the day. Third time the charm. Another Seydorf. Another Van der... Is that the exact same player pick that I got? I can't remember. I remember getting Seydorf and Van der Sar. Did I get Cassias as well? Almost. That is frustrating. Very frustrating. I guess we'll take Van der Sar because we don't have much of a choice. They also dropped an 86 plus Encore Hero Pack. It's a base slash triple threat uh, slash UCL or Fantasy Hero rate 86 or higher. I think these are pointless. To be honest, I think that these are not worth your time. I would not bother wasting your time at, like building these. But, you know, fair enough. And it's actually Bomb Pass Story. It's actually a pretty good one. But yeah, I wouldn't bother. I think it's... Uh, I think it's a waste of time to build those packs. All right, we go again. Next one. That fodder reeks of a store pack. Ooh, Future Stars Kelly Smith. That's not too bad, I don't think. We're getting quite a few Future Stars in these. She's only 160k. That card looks good in my opinion. It's definitely a fun one to try out as well. What's his team saying? Does she get in there? No, she definitely does not get in that team. Not, not ahead of Werner or uh, Eusebio, unfortunately. All right. John's icon pack next. What are we saying? Another Smith. It's not going to be that kind of day, is it? The same sort of players. I feel like it might be, unfortunately. I've been bullied to open one of these as well. All right. I didn't want to do it. These are stupidly expensive. 86 rated squad and an 83 rated squad with an inform. For a hero pack. A, a hero pack. I wouldn't even spend that for a hero player pick at the moment, that base in there. Absolutely awful. We'll open it anyway. We'll see what we get. It's a base hero. Italy. Striker. It's actually really good. And, uh, uh, ironically. Oh, wait. No, it might not be Di Natale. No, it is Di Natale. That's actually solid. For some reason, Di Natale not had a special card yet this year. I think I've already got, I have already got him as well. Like, obviously, he's, you know, he's only 50k, whatever now. But, like, that would have been solid. He was like a million coins at one point. Um, even still though, not worth it. I would stay away. All right, next icon player pick. Come on, give us like Future Stars Zidane or something like that. I feel like that Luis Figo is so common in these, and so Stoichkov as well. <sighs> Disappointing. That is a really, really bad player pick. All right, next icon player pick. We have got Lala's icon player pick. What we say in EA? Come on, sort us out right here. Just all winter wild cards, man. I feel like we're at that stage now where you could probably take in, you could probably take winter wild cards out of these player picks. Don't get me wrong, Pele, unreal. Uh, Garincha, great card. Yashin, really solid card. Aside from that, is there any other winter wild cards that anybody cares about, other than sentimental ones from your own club? I don't think so. Like, take them out, EA. Let's just get like everyone but winter wild cards in these now. Eighty-six plus encore hero pack. The biggest scam pack ever. Germany, center mid Kiesler, I think is the UCL Kiesler. Even still, it's just not good. It's just not good. Most heroes are just not up to the power curve anymore. At all. All right, Dario's icon pick. Come on, future stars, please. Or team of the year. Ooh. That would have, have been decent as well. I think Petit's actually solid. Unfortunately, uh, again, it's just an already owned icon. 
So we're just stuck there with Stoichkov and Shearer, who we've seen already a lot. A lot already. And we've not even opened that many icon picks today. And we've seen a lot. We joined as he opened it. He had a choice of Future Stars, Gerard or Winter Wildcard, Garincha. I'm actually surprised you picked Garincha there. I think I'd have picked Gerard. Garincha's an all right card, but I think I actually genuinely picked Gerard there. I think he'd be better as a midfielder. All right, Cridian's got an 88 plus Econ Spillervalg. We love an Econ Spillervalg. Let's see what he gets. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right. Cheeky little Larm. I think Larm is still in the millions, by the way. Like, I'm pretty sure Larm is, like, in the millions. I mean, that card is really nice. He deserves to be in the millions, to be fair. Is he not? He's only 570k now? That card was... Wow. Oh, my God. The trajectory of that card. That card was 1 million coins until the 18th of March. And he's halved in price in the last week and a half. That's crazy. Still a great card, though. Still a fantastic card. He, obviously, he's picking Larm there. I think that card's really nice. It's got good play styles as well. And could play center mid, too. And he's four-star, four-star. That's solid. You can... Where's that? That's back an icon. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes! That was a random 83 times 3! Ah! No way! Oh, <laughs> yes! 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 I have been praying to pack this card untradeable. Yes! This is the only card I wanted from this whole, pro whole promo. Yes! Get in, man. Come on. I was literally putting on the Arsenal City game as well. Get in. Oh, I can't believe I just packed that, man. I'm actually buzzing. That's just in the middle of ran like, just a random 83 times 3 as well. That is awesome. All right. We've got an Encore Hero pack here. What are we saying? He still made a lot for this. I don't get it. I really don't think it's worth it. But, hey, if you get something good, Portugal, is that Futre? That's not, that's not bad, actually. Paolo Futre is pretty good. Fantasy Paolo Futra. Um, the fact this isn't a pick is why I think you should stay away from it because it's a pack. But it's actually pretty good. That's pretty solid. So you've just got Gorincha and Paolo Futra. Your wings have just improved massively. That is a big W from this pack. Fair play. All right, John's got to build his 88 plus Encore Icon player pick. I feel like we've not had a good amount of high rated Future Stars or Team of the Year ZA. Eh? And I stand corrected. Just more Winter Wild Cards. Which, by the way, just randomly, right? There are playstyle pluses for goalies, but EA have just not given a single goalkeeper a playstyle plus this year. And I wonder if it's because they'd be so ridiculously overpowered that they simply can't give them. I don't really know. But EA just haven't given any playstyle pluses to any goalkeepers, which kind of annoys me. Like, do it. All right, they re-dropped some uh, new store packs as well. Well, they're not new, but they re-released them. Uh, so we'll open some of these as well. I'm going to do the Galazzo Foundation, Premium Galazzo, and the Halftime Elite pack. We'll do Galazzo Foundation first. This is the Attacker pack. So, Cruyff? Pretty much is the only one I care about here. Hey, RVP. Nice. I'll take 94 Prince there as well. RVP's good. I'm just stacking Man United past and present cards now, man. That's actually dumb. That's actually really, really decent, to be fair. That could have gone a lot worse. For 1,000 FC points, I'm really happy with that. I am going to have to discard these. I'll come back and claim. Probably Prins back. I've got loads of informs. If I do need one, I know there's one there. Um, but I can't imagine that I'm going to need one. It's, uh, like, I've got so many of them. But you never know. Premium Galazzo pack, 55, 84 plus, And these have a 94% chance of a hero, 72% chance of an icon. Now, I've already packed um, Bobby Charlton and... And now RVP and people like that. Realistically, it's just Cruyff left. And, well, Cruyff, Cafu, if I have a quick look at the team. Cruyff, Cafu, um, Campbell, that'd be nice as well. Alonso, Ginola, and, and Akotcha, and the high rate version of Alawiren. They're the only cards really now that I haven't packed. So I might slow down on these uh, store packs on my main account. Because I don't really need anyone anymore. That being said, Lil Broler, brilliant. Who's the dupes then? Yeah, of course, we get quite a lot of them as well, unfortunately. 
Brilliant. All right, now we're going to do the halftime elite pack. Let's see what we get in this. 3,000 FC points. I probably should check, check the odds, actually. Uh, it's going to be Rodri. I'm going to skip it. We're going to skip it. Uh, I opened this one because it's actually got usually better fodder. Let's see what we get. Hey, we actually get Sol Campbell. Let's go. I feel like I'm collecting all the cards from this promo at the moment. That's a dub. 360k Soul Campbell. I mean, this card looks good if you ask me. 87 pace, 91 defending, 90 physical. Really decent dribbling stats as well. Six foot two, medium high. That's a good card. I am very happy with that. And obviously, we get the fodder as well. That's a dub. All right, John is going to open his Galazzo Foundation pack as well. Let's see. Uh, let's see what John gets in his Galazzo Foundation pack. Obviously, you can only get attackers. So again, I mean, there are some good ones. But, like, it does eliminate some of the be the better cards, all right? It eliminates Bobby Charlton, eliminates Janola, eliminates Okocha. Does it eliminate Alawira? I don't think it does. I think he's a right winger. Prince. Prince, then double Berbatov and Francesco Lee. Good fodder, I guess. That's about it. 86 plus Encore Hero Pack now for Hayden. He's got himself a base hero. Francesco Lee as well. Wait, is it? Is that someone else? I thought he was a center forward for some reason. Oh, it's Forlan. Of course it's Forlan. Francesco is a center forward. Uh, I mean, any base hero at this stage of the game literally, I don't think, gets into many any people's teams realistically. I mean, there are definitely some Div 10 players that, that base heroes get in, but like even like base Lucio these days, I don't think he'd get into my team. All right, John's opening his 86 plus Encore hero pack next. In terms of the flair, you want dark blue. This means UCL. I was like, a culture? No, 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 definitely not a culture, mate. No, it's Carnu. It's Kanu. Yeah. Yikes. All right. Next icon pick. Here we go. What are we saying? Nedved or Smith. Uh, they're quite cheap. Uh, they're definitely better than a lot of the Winter Wild cards. Um, they're both quite cheap, though, unfortunately, which is not ideal. Um, I think Kelly Smith's probably the best one there, to be fair. All right. Don Spring has sent a clip of his icon player pick. Because he couldn't share play it, so we, we, we've got a, we've got a, a video of it to see what he got. Oh, as if, man, as if, as if you get Rooney. Nah, that's. I mean, I can't complain. I just packed Charlton today, but that's so annoying, man. I wish I'd have got Rooney. That's like I've got Rooney tradable, and he is genuinely the best striker in the game. He's unreal. All right, we have got Mister Wizards icon pick. <laughs> I just realized, so let me cook. That's, you know what? That's actually good. I, I like that a lot. That's good. And he's got Gerard out of it as well, which is not bad. I think Gerard's solid, to be fair. I don't think he's stupidly expensive, but I think it's a good card. He already has Beckham as well, untradeable, I believe. So you got Gerard there too. I mean, that's, that's decent. You got a decent little centre mid partnership there. We let him cook. We really did. All right, next 88 plus for Ainsley. All right, come on. Bang. Javi? I've really not packed Javi at all, man. That's quite surprising. That's not a bad card at all. That's a that's actually a really good card, to be fair. Uh, all the team of the year icons are really good, aren't they? Um, Javi's worth about 450-500k, but he's also got four star skills, five star weak foot, which I think makes him a lot better in terms of an all-rounder centre mid as well. But that's a decent card, man. I haven't packed him, I don't think, and that's actually really good. We'll take that. That's solid. We've got a uh, Yogador Escalidio. One of three Idolos LCL Team of the Year FS. Another Gerard in the same slot as well. Coincidence? I think not. Again, we'll take Gerard. Small W. Happy with that. That is solid. All right. Nick's icon pick now. What are we saying? Cook for Nick, EA. Cook for Nick. Sadly, Campbell's actually not a terrible... Like, it's actually quite a usable card. I, I've used him in draft a little bit. He's actually really decent. That's why I'm excited about getting his... Uh, his uh, not Trophy Titan, his um, Galazzo card. But it's just not what you want, man. No team of the year, no future star, no fun. All right, next icon pick. What we saying? Team of the year or future stars, please, EA. And make them good. Let's get a Dino or a Miham or a R9, you know? Someone of that magnitude and calibre. Ooh, not bad at all. Thunderstruck Cafu. Now, that is class. Unfortunately, he did just get a Galazza card that is better. So, I understand whenever a card gets a higher rated card, he looks a little bit less appealing. But that's still a really, really good one. That is really good. Fair play. Of course, we have to go again. 
until we get something good or we get bored. I don't know. I think we've opened like 25 of these or something like that. We've opened so many of them. This one's going to be Thunderstruck Cassias. Hold your, hold your hands to your ears if nobody wants to pack you in FC24. I don't make the rules. All right, last icon player pick of the video. Can we end it off with something amazing, please, EA? Crespo, Nedved, Raquel, May. Again, not great. At least we got future stars and not just winter wild cards, but not amazing. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you later. later.